welcome, witches and wizards. And so, I will guide us through relaxing our bodies, and then I want you just to see what comes up in terms of who Sage is, where they have been, and what they are doing now from the beginning of time to now. Don't worry about everything, but just see what comes up. So, find somewhere comfortable to lie down and put down. Let's begin by engaging our breath. And starting at the crown of our head, all the way to our jaw, let's allow our head to relax. Allow your neck to relax. Allow your shoulders to drop down by your side. Allow your biceps and triceps to relax. Allow your forearms to relax. Let your hands and fingers completely relax. Allow your chest and upper back to relax. Your organs and your spine relax. abs and your lower back to relax. Your hips relax. Your quads and your hamstrings relax. Your calves relax.
finally your feet and your toes completely relax. on sage, the god of faith and balance. Your mind begins to wander. Use your breath to come back to this session. And let's begin.
stuff. Sage is a koi mermaid. She's also got this really cute hair. Shock. And she was the first one to discover how the magic in this world happens. was not a problem but all the other gods were able to travel on land with ease or in the air for those that could fly and yet she desired a balance she desired that everything was equal and yet the only thing that needed to be equal was this moment. Her thoughts, her ambitions, her dreams for the future do not equate to balancing this moment in time. And so as a koi, she desired to walk she desired to fly and so she used the very cord of fate as a slingshot in the moment if you Need like an elastic band to show this. If you imagine this moment being recorded, if you truly believe something to be wrong in this moment, if you do not like the situation you are in, and we're not talking again about desires for the future, this has to be now you start bending that cord. You start pushing away from balance. And so magic in this world happens through the letting go or through having faith. of what's on the other side. And so, Sage now lives in the floating mountains, still very much as a koi fish, but the only thing that allows her to fly and weed between these mountains is her faith. If she was to lose faith for even a moment, she would fall to the sea below her. I'm trying to think how that would work for us. So for example, with the other gods, when Ted grew wings to collect the stars, it was his desires, it was his need in this moment. That a 
allowed him to bend the fabric of fate. And then he grew wings and was at balance again. could see magic almost as a tool keep the world exactly where it needs to be to keep it on course it never seems to be a problem that something magical had happened because the end result in that moment was balance things were getting done things were changing and moving forward So out of all the gods, Sage is the one with most control over it. Now, we do have a god of fate. So it's almost like they're going to be above... ...the magic itself. They don't even have to think or push themselves to a limit to tap into that magical boundary. So the reason humans pray to sage it's not for change, it's faith. It's being able to tap into what's meant to happen. And for a lot of people, what's meant to happen is very magical. It does require you to let go of a lot of the wants in your future. It, it forces you to surrender. To your end goals. And yet to be able to change everything you need to now. Because when it comes to human beings, all they have is the present moment. Maybe this is the reason they are better at using the magic than we are because even though we live in the present moment it is very easy to be distracted by the future or the past whereas wherever the god's mindset is it is what they live if they are thinking of the past they are also in the past and therefore they are still present and therefore can hold on to their faith. What does living in the present moment even mean? I think the easier question to answer is what are your worries and concerns or what What is it that 
you feel like needs to be done. And then to live in the present moment would be to just look at what we know. For instance, you may be worried about a job interview coming up and yet in this moment that job interview is not happening. And so it does not apply to the present moment. It's being present in the means being present in the moment. It's a good question. Maybe a question I'll have to ask Sage when we get into that later on. Did anyone else have any visions or stories? Because all I saw was how she tapped into magic because it was obviously always there the same way that Newton didn't invent gravity the apple hit his head and then gravity started no it was always there and therefore all of us magic is all around us it's just whether we're willing to tap into it see the future you know but that happens for us as humans in the present moment so I was meditating yesterday and I visualized the fallen angel and I was asked if it if it was me and the answer I got was everyone and I don't know what to do with this information I dreamed it um, let me finish this Reiki session and I'll come back to your sentence uh, oh no that was Taco sorry yeah, I'll get back to that because it's an interesting topic. I could meditate, I could rule the world. I saw people uh, being moved at me the last couple of days. I thought, I thought I'm immune to that phase but then I realized I'm zoning the fuck out and I'm not thinking anything IRL I've noticed there's been a little bit of tension in the air recently but let's finish let me just summarize what I've seen here um, so Sage is a coy mermaid she was thrown into the sea from the beginning of time and it was her it was her need and her will that snapped her out of her situation that propelled her that allowed her to tap into the magic to fly to glide through air itself it was because in that moment she was so far away from or her reality was so far away from what she perceived to be her true fate that the magic around her put her back in balance with her current path and so she remains today flying around the floating, floating, floating mountains in the sky through faith alone. And if anyone was ever to truly distract her and allow or break that faith that she has with this magic, she would fall to the very sea below her. Uh, 
and by praying to sage we can very quickly change our mind on feelings that have felt cemented for us But I think that's a good start. Let me, uh, I tell you what, let me jump on to, um, have a look at this. That's, um, that's the closest image. Right, for those of you on uh, YouTube, when I upload this, if you enjoyed, do like and subscribe. It's much appreciated. Wait. So stay kind. Stay cute, stay curious my friends, and I'll see you all very soon.